Good afternoon. Good morning. We are doing this. It's a couple days before Christmas. Mm. And Short in Person is here with Handsome Shrek. Yo, yo. King Nana. <laughs> <laughs> I want him to listen. To <laughs> so, so, so string being is saying he, he's saying he's King Nana today, just in case anything he says gets misconstrued. <laughs> Got a lot of opinions. That's right. We have Blackhead Blake. That's right. Blackhead. It, it's stuck. Yeah, it's stuck. Blackhead. You got one. It's not bad. We call him that all day long. Now, it's, yeah, just, it's, it's in there. And new girl Jess. Hello. So today's topic. Is one that uh, we talked about a couple weeks ago. We were supposed to do last week, but, you know, things happened and we didn't. But we're going to get to it here today. And that is the topic of participation trophies. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Boo. Oh, <yeah. sighs> Boo. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm just going to start off by saying I hope you have a trophy for each one of us that showed up today. <laughs> I mean, we should at least. At that, least. At least. Perfect. But anyway... What is everyone's initial thoughts on, but it's, well, first let's talk about how this came up. There was an article that came out a couple weeks ago that said that participation trophies are, are, making, America, are making America soft. 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 Disgusting. S-O-P-H-T. Soft. <laughs> so I put it out to my... Facebook peeps. His mm. constituents. My constituents. <laughs> is you is or is you ain't my constituents. <laughs> and it blew all the way up. Some controversy. So we knew really? that we had to get. Yeah, the stuff. controversy started without people even reading the article. Well, yeah, which is always hilarious. Well, why did you ever read an article? That's yeah. what the title's for. Yeah. Yeah, just, <laughs> yeah, we just browsed the headlines around here. But anyway, so what is everyone's initial thoughts on Pustish Pod? Part if, if I get my tongue working today, participation trophies. Good, bad, and different? My thought is that the kids know. I feel like when I was a kid, I knew that it was whack, so it didn't mean much to me. What, but what does yeah. whack mean? It doesn't mean anything. Like, you know, like at the end of the baseball season, everyone got a trophy for participating because, you know, it goes on your little mantle to, so, to show, oh, yeah, I did play baseball in 2008. Yes, that happened. <laughs> and besides that, you know, you, you, as a kid, you knew, all right, well, we didn't win. We lost. We didn't go to the playoffs, so that trophy, that trophy just means I played. That's all that trophy means. And it doesn't, it's not a treasured possession of mine. It just helps me remember which years I played baseball. But I feel also, like as a kid, I knew that. But also, I think that players would play harder if they had something to earn at the end. I mean, there's bigger trophies. Of the, at the end of the, of the year. But kind of like think. you said, it, it is. You do earn other things you, you know i'm saying trophies. i'm the saying yeah but still it's not the same i'm saying don't give any of the team's trophies unless you're in first or second place if you've got but, eight teams but why? what but why but why yeah the the the, the play the kid or the player that comes in last place are you saying he didn't try as hard as all the rest a lot of teams are broken up by age or by family friends. By family friends. Family friends is really who, what it is. Who the coaches coach? Who the coaches coach? Knows coach who the coaches kids are good. son right. plays with? Some of them have drafts. Well, okay, we're gonna draft all these kids who they played all before, and then that whole team over there. Let them have that's, all that's, people. that's all the that's the whole team of everybody who's never played before. We don't know them. We don't know the parents. So they're team. gonna play on that team. That was but my team. Much, that but isn't isn't that life? That's life. And the thing is, is who's to say the next year they won't be on the team that gets first or second? Or I think that, that that's life. You go to a company, there's like brothers there, and there's people that have known each other for 15 million years, and you're sort of the outsider, and you either deal with it and somehow incorporate yourself into the group or find where your place is in the group, or you just don't give two craps. And, and keep doing your thing. And yes. So mm -hmm. I think that that's life to not be in the on the best team to not be in the best group to have not been picked for whoever didn't get the Orioles jersey or, or whatever. I, I think that that's life. That's what happens in life. You get on a crappy team, and that's life. You got to deal with it. But, you get on the best team. But don't you still get rewarded if if your team does other things? 
Now, we just had a competition, or we're still in the midst of a competition, where there's a possibility that one of the teams could win, and that entire department gets rewarded for it, but only three people actually worked on the damn thing. Yes, but not the whole company's getting the party, it's just that team. Yes. So it's just that first place but, team. It's not participation trophies for the other so, six teams. But doesn't so, that right, also so everybody apply? else gets a part of the particip participation. They didn't participate. Right. Everyone else on that team. Right. But this is going to sound harsh. Sure. When you're on a baseball team, yeah. typically, yeah. generally, yeah. unless you're doing travel or something, mm -hmm. there are like four, five, six good players, and then a few that either the parents just put them on for a babysitter or because they want them to do something, they're not really interested in it, they don't really want to do it. But you can't tell me that if you have six teams and this one reward, that all six teams aren't going to play harder. All six teams will play hard. I'm not that's saying exactly, that they will That's exactly my point. They're all but, playing hard, and they're all getting acknowledgement mm -hmm. for that. It's an acknowledgement. It's not a reward. The final, final, big overall thing is the reward. And the champions get recognized. You know, like the kids and the champions get recognized no matter what. Like the champions get the bigger trophy. The kids know that, listen, we just lost that game. Now we're going home today. <coughs> and the tournament isn't supposed to end until 5 p.m. So we know we lost. Like the kids know we lost. They get a smaller trophy. They're not around for the end of ceremony. Like everybody knows what the actual reward is. Like, in my opinion, the participation trophy is really just, you know, like I said, it's it's like, you know, it just it shows that you did participate. Right. And that's and what you get the trophy for. And I don't think the kids... a part of something. Exactly. I don't, think, I don't think the kids view it as, like, I did it. Like, I don't, I don't think kids get that and are like, yes, mission accomplished, check. I think kids know, like, I didn't win. Like, the kids know if they won or lost. Like, you can't fool them. They know. <laughs> there's, there's also an age where, like, in my opinion, sure. where that is appropriate because it, it rewards them for participating, which mm -hmm. keeps them wanting to play the game. Mm -hmm. I think when you get to, like, an 8, 9, 10, 11 age, maybe 9, 10, 11 age, um, they don't appreciate it. They, they don't really care. It doesn't matter anymore unless they were in first so, place. That could be a good lesson right. itself, right? And you get Couldn't a jersey. That be a good well, you get a jersey to participate. That's your acknowledgement of participation that you were on a team. You got... Not all. So that's, that's the other well, thing. Well, then that's unfortunate. That's, then your parents should have put you no, in a different no, thing. No, no, no. See, see this, this, is where, this is where it comes in. Because not all get that. Not all inner city kids oh, get yeah. that. See, this, this is where this is kind of where yeah. we kind of kind of get the yes. divide of oh, what's sorry. going on. Yeah. Kind of like if you if you read the article, or if you see who was on the picture of the article, there was a certain demographic that they yeah. were talking about. Yeah. But you ain't gonna tell me that any inner city kid that has to ride two buses in the subway to go and play on the team they want to play for is gonna grow up soft because. That team gave them a trophy. Oh heck no! You're not going to tell me that. And I'm so going to tell you right now. That's kind of where deserve it. That's that's kind of like, where the disconnect comes in, and and that's where people kind of don't see the big picture. Like it's not it's not just okay. I know in my little league where I play, where I have my kids in over here, they should not get participation trophies. So no one should get them. No, it, it, it well, doesn't quite work that way. Well, we should, we, what, what the the crux of the issue is, we're calling them... He's, a, he's, a crux. he's just in big words wow. today. <laughs> we're calling them so trophies. Funny. We're calling them trophies. Right. Stop calling them trophies. Make them, make them some sort of achievement. Achievement for... Completing a full season Completing of the season. Uh, about not giving up because... Even if it's like, I don't feel like practicing today, you made a commitment to that team. Mm -hmm. You should be rewarded for even going out there and playing when you didn't feel like playing because you made a commitment to all those other kids. Mm -hmm. And that should be the, the value that's instilled. There shouldn't be a reward, a trophy. There should only be one thing called a trophy. Like, hey, guys, that's the trophy. The big, big thing that you're you want to get it. There it is. Cup. It's over there. But what about the kids that don't really participate? Well, you could say they the don't. Same. They miss practices, and they don't really. Then should I, they then, not then get one? Absolutely. If, if if you want to go ahead and make this a a thing where there's no reason for the kid not to be there, and it's nothing that's like there's no other ex, like not a reasonable excuse. If the kid decides, I, I'm not coming. 
because I don't feel like it. Mm. Or, I always hesitate to blame kids for that stuff, though. Huh? I feel like parents are always at the heart of that type of stuff. Well, not always, but like 90%. Like, Understood. Kids are Definitely. Late, but parents fall. You know, it's like, a, I think a lot of times that type of stuff is parents' fault. Okay. And, well, and you know what? That also then teaches the kid to be like, hey, Timmy over here got an achievement for going to every game. You wouldn't let me go to every game. I couldn't get that same achievement because the commitment that not only I made, but you made to make sure I could get there, you didn't fulfill your part. So I didn't get that achievement. Those are big words that a kid probably would say. But we get the gist. I guess I don't know. I have a perspective of like once once again that that's Uh, that's one who doesn't have any kids. Talk about (laughs) memories, man. Like in rec football, I was always late to every single practice because my mom worked till five thirty every day. Mm -hmm. And but you made uh, it. You made it there. I mean, I made it there fifteen minutes late, and I ran two extra laps every single day, and I was ready with my football pads on when my mom came home. I was literally at the door. And no matter what, I still ran, like, two extra laps every single day because mm-hmm. I was late. Mm-hmm. And I missed a bunch of practice because I didn't, I, I missed, I, you know, I missed stuff happening. So, like, I don't know. A lot of times it's not the kid's fault is what I'm saying. Yeah. Now, you know, see? Maybe that turned me into the speedster that so I am. So, did you, see, get, did you win a championship that season? Mm, we were garbage. We were. Defeated. Did you get a trophy that season? Yeah, like a participation trophy. Yeah, like. A, Are you soft? No, I'm not soft. <laughs> <laughs> oh. so, <laughs> so, so again, that kind of goes back. That kind of goes back to the point. That, but that is that is something that is that is seared into your memory. Something that you think about, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Well, no matter what, you were at the door, mm-hmm. ready to rock and roll. But I because was. of some other circumstances. You weren't able to get to practice on time. When you got to practice on time, you knew you had to run two extra laps, and you did it anyway. And you still played. That's right. The team was garbage. The team was garbage. Which, which, and you got acknowledgement at the end of the season, and, which, and you're okay with it. Fun fact. In that season, I scored 50% of our team's points with Look one at- Touchdown. Damn, one touchdown. <laughs> I made it on the kick return. <laughs> and I got one I got one half of our two points. Well, Lord have mercy. And Why the other it? half, I did another kick return to the one. I got tackled at the one. <laughs> they ran you down. And they didn't let me run it in. <laughs> they put the running back in. <laughs> Listen, let somebody else get this one. Sorry about that. But look, for real, I love though, it. You, your point that you just made, which I don't know if you were agreeing with me or kind of just, arguing or at least putting a know. different I, perspective. Just look, think about it. Just uh, going with what you said, it wasn't your fault that mm. you were late to practice, but you had to suffer the consequences Same for price. being late and do extra laps. Mm-hmm. So It seems fair. Honestly, like I can it's, see it's everything. It's fairness within it. Like, yeah. You can't go there and go... I'm not doing these extra laps because it was, it's not my fault. Well, you don't get this trophy or this acknowledgement just because you say, well, it's not my fault I didn't show up to half the games. Well, you didn't participate. You shouldn't be acknowledged for being a contributor to the team if you had no reason not to be there. I don't think it makes people soft. Mm-hmm. And I don't think it should be generalized in this way either. Well, it does. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We're generalizing. I think, I think <laughs> no, no, we, we're not. We're not. Yes. There, I think that there are different, it, just as in life again, yeah. I think there are different circumstances mm-hmm. for different things. Absolutely. What I do think is for some children, depending on how they were raised, because I do think that that plays into it as well. It's, it's like teachers. You can't have teachers teach your kids to be kind, to be, that's your job at home to yes. do. And yes. so um, I think for some kids, when they become adults, because they're used to being handed everything, even if they don't try to work for it, they struggle later on in life with jobs when there's, say, the word that you're talking about. Yes. Say there's a, someone on there that maybe wasn't raised the same way as us, that maybe thinks in a different way, and if you didn't win, would be like, pissed off not not disappointed and not upset but pissed off because they didn't win yeah, because they've been on. they've been so <laughs> used, used to being rewarded mm. for only giving half effort yes or, or maybe not giving much effort at all yes so, and think, so later they struggle with not winning which then leads into depression or not getting what they want yes and yes then so leads to so let me get this let me see if i can what you're talking about. get on your way of life <laughs> so are you saying that the trophy itself is not the issue but more like Parental, how the parents treat like these type of things. No, I'm saying that there are more environmental. It's more than just 
and that yes. includes outer environmental, their friends, their school, their whatever, yes. and right. internal with their family, how they were raised, how they're treated at home. Yes. Um, are 100%. they are when they go to these sporting events? Are their parents there? Number one, because that's Support. the number one thing. Mm -hmm. Number two, are they cheering for them? And not yelling at the the um or the coach. Yeah. I mean, like being supportive, yes. oh, cheering that. for them. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the game, regardless of what happens, do they say, "Hey, I saw you made that yucky play, but you made this, this, and this too. Don't yes. beat yourself out up yes. about it." Because you do, you can't act like the bad thing is good. Like you can't say, but but you then you say the thing and you say, you know, you're working on it, but you did this, this, and this yes. right. That is so important. I, I go to games. After, act, after action reviews. Yes, I go to games and the parents are yelling at the yes. kids of what to do the whole game. And you can see them. The coaches are saying one thing and the parents are saying another. Yes. And you can see the frustration yeah, from Yeah, the kids don't know what the hell to do and so, at that point. So they need the support. Yes. I think that there are – I don't think this is just a – should we do participation trophies or not? I think there are many factors that play into it. Hundred percent. That make it, you know. That and and that's again like we like we keep saying here. That is life. There's always many factors into it, but this is this just happens to be the one that that is the focus. It, it doesn't and, and, it, and it's kind of weird because it's only been that way, at least as far as I can tell, for the last for the last five ten years, where it's been a negative, a negative connotation put on. Put on these participation but, trophies. I'm doing it with full quotes here, by the way, people. But is it is it because they weren't doing it as much five years ago that they actually made teams come in first or second? That now, like every I've, everyone is doing participation trophies. I've like heard that it's become weird, more popular. I've heard weird things about it. As far as as far as I can remember, and I actually have a picture of mine that I'm going to show you guys here in a second. As far as I can remember, as as long as I've ever played little league on up until we got to high school, it was always it was always if you were on a team, you ended up with something, be it a medallion, be it a plaque, mm -hmm. be it a trophy. You ended up with something. But hold on. Yeah. But then the better the team did, if you won a championship then the team got even more. So it was possible that you can, at the end of the season, you can walk home with five or six things, yeah. you know? Um, <laughs> but there's also, there's, there was also things where not everything, not everything goes for a championship. Yes. So there's instructional leagues. Yes. You know, there's in-house leagues where you just play. You just play into play. Just, play, just yeah. to, to, to yeah. just do your thing. And then, and then there's there's situations like my little guy who plays who plays the cross, and he is still he still has two more years to go to be at the age that the team that he's playing on, because there are no younger leagues yeah. for him in that. So his little ass is getting knocked all around by ten year olds, and he loves it. <laughs> so there's, and then at the end of the season for the last two years. He gets to go up and the coach has his little trophy and the coach says all these wonderful things about how he is great and it's always typically during a pizza party or something. So uh -huh, he's got uh -huh. he's got a hand he's got one hand with pizza and it's and it's like shoved in his mouth and, and the other hand he's got juicy. and he's got his trophy and that trophy is now in our den up on the, the little thing because that is look at what I got. Yeah. And he earned it too. And he earned, he earned it, it, you know. Like that so that's one of those trophy. things that you can't you know, I, now he probably is more impressed by eating that pepperoni pizza because <laughs> that's what he does. In my in my head, some I feel like maybe the effects of these participation trophies are being inflated, like like everything else. I mean, yeah, because I, I I just don't what? let's let's br <laughs> let's broad let's broad brush it like oh we'll just say millennials. Well, yeah. see, shit, millennials got participation trophies, so let's just lump it all in exactly, to one thing. Exactly, I feel like. But do people even know what? Years, millennia, like people no. say it sometimes, and they don't even know who's exactly. in what category. Exactly. So it's I all... had three people who had complained about millennials, and they themselves are millennials, and yeah. they didn't even realize yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. What's the? Uh, and they probably got of... participation for uh, Nineteen eighty to nineteen eighty or eighty three, something like that. 
1983 till. Why are we always guessing? Somebody Google it. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 it's 19. Check everything here, by the way. Till about like 2007. About like. Born in 2007? Something like that. No, oh, right. Look at the good Blake. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I thought All there right. was a new name for that. No, you. it's 1981 to 1996. Yeah, 22 to 30. 1996. Okay. 27 so, years old. Uh, 22 to 37 years old. I'm 97, so I can talk about millennials. So. <laughs> so let's see what Generation Z is. Generation Z is. This just says post millennials. 1996 to 2010 are Generation Z. So both of my kids wow. fall in that category. That's big though. I didn't realize that they were. Yeah, they're all like 15 year ranges. Yeah, yeah. 15 so, to 20 year ranges. So if some people complain about it and they themselves are what they're complaining about, so right. I don't even listen to that anymore. Just like. Uh, a lot of people who got participation trophies growing up are but, complaining about it. I was saying it makes people soft. I mean, that's, the, yeah, that's, that's a great, great point, Don. Yeah. That's a great I, point. I don't, I don't think it makes you soft. I think your life makes you soft. I think yeah. if you're going to be soft Bingo. as an adult, yeah. you're already soft to begin yes. with. Strong people when they're kids, strong will, strong yes. working. They're strong people when they're adults. Yes. It has, like, not much to do with... If you got a trophy or not. Yeah. I think if you're soft as I think and sensitive, and there's nothing wrong with being sensitive, yes. but I'm sensitive I, I on think, my chest, by the way. I think if you're soft, then you're you're soft. You just are. You it's just not, are what you are. And then you know, getting a trophy or not getting a trophy won't change that one bit. I like the conclusion. You like the conclusion? I like that. That's yeah. wrapped up well. <laughs> that was wrapped up well. I think the trophy doesn't do much. That damn right. Now now you said you had i have another else. topic it's a little um we I don't know, a little bit but Let's i heard it, it on the radio this morning okay. and sometimes when i hear things on the radio i bring it in here because it's kind of fun okay so the topic one of the topics this morning was um there was an article or an email or something that was read and it said when their boyfriend or husband or whoever is being jerky or needy or something that they ignore them until they get out of their whatever out of their funk so either mm -hmm. so either okay. either not answering phone calls mm -hmm. not going out of their way to text them they just kind of step back and ignore until okay. so like if, if you're on the verge of a, of a breakup or you did break up because this was one of the things that came up too um she ignored him mm -hmm. she went and and was like, okay, like she was devastated, but she went and took care of herself. She went on like a couple trips and she, and it wasn't that long of a time frame. Right. And he came back. Okay. And um, do any of you think that that would work for you? It works for me every if, day to a smaller degree. I'm every not, day? I'm not, yeah, Wait, so I'm not you, you guys breaking up with my woman every day. All right. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Damn, what? <laughs> we, are, we are together from 3 I, to 4 a.m., all right? And That's I haven't it. spoken to her in months. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where she is now, but... King Nana settled down. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you about Nelson for a second, but... Oh, that would be not we, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. I'll get home from work, and I'll be stressed out about something, and I'll be stressed out because of work, not because of her, and maybe I'll say something to her because I'm frustrated from work and she just goes you're not mad at me you're mad at work and she won't talk to me for like an hour <laughs> and then eventually an hour later I'm like listen I was frustrated because of work I'm uh, I didn't you know I'm sorry for so it works for string yeah it works Next. for me <laughs> <laughs> it's to a Kevin well, have it, you experienced that at all it, it's kind of uh anyone watch the dog whisper yeah. no yeah. Here you go with more upstairs yeah, I mean, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> look, 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 just a little. Have you guys look, read? Look, uh, look. <laughs> I just, I just got From a dog Socrates. recently, so, so I've been. I've oh yes, been, congratulations! Thank you, thank you. What kind? Uh, a boggle. A boggle. Boxer beagle mix. Oh. Oh, I have a beagle pointer mix. Oh, how about that? Adorable. So you Sweet. watched? You were so she looks like that. We, we've been watching. Um, <laughs> yep, she looks like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's Tia. And she's always got a big smile. Um, so <laughs> with that, there, there, there's yeah, a lot yeah. of um, a lot of stuff you can learn about animals and psychology and basically how it's really more about the psychology of people projecting onto the animals. The animals don't care. It's all about attention spans and breaking their attention from things. If they're excited or angry about something going on over here, it's a little tap, a little something to just break the concentration, settle them down before continuing on something. You're not reinforcing a behavior. What so I'm are you snapping at your... 
What I'm what I'm saying is what I'm saying is from a psych- oh, oh, from a psych- from oh, okay. a instinctual standpoint, it makes some sort of sense if you're in a a heightened state to break out of it. You can only be in a heightened state for so long before you're mentally exhausted and then you come out of that state before then you can get back to your normal stuff again. So you're saying it would work for you too? I'm saying it the idea of it. The philosophy. The philosophy it. sounds it has it's sound. You can only be at a heightened state for so long. I wouldn't say ignoring and just going on a trip because that's going to just breed more insecurities. What the heck are we doing on a trip? <laughs> <laughs> I checked your Instagram, damn it. <laughs> you know, I it. But, but I understand, like, like string being here, like, I'm in a heightened state right now because of some other factor. I'm going to get out of that state and then, okay, now I'm going to go again. Discuss. That's do you, interesting. Do you have a opinion on it and then I'll tell you my opinion on it do I, I with all his explanations of it I even forgot what the question is <laughs> it's about ignoring people I don't know I feel like I'm not I'm not in line here that's Why okay not? I feel like I'm a big like when there's a, when there's a problem I feel like like a problem like a disagreement or like an argument I feel like to me I just want to solve it like now like ASAP right I want things to get good but mm-hmm. is that what she wants does uh, she does she do like are you the same when it comes to yeah. reconciliation and stuff? A logical argument or an emotional argument? I mean either. I mean, and this is not just with her, like just with anybody, right? Like mm-hmm. I'm just saying, like overall life. <coughs> I feel like to me, talking, talking things out is usually, I don't know. I guess in my for me, it is the way I feel. Like things get solved, you know, like did you just talk it out and get it over with? Like you're done with it. Yeah. yeah. So like. I guess I guess I'm saying like if I was to if I knew Dante had a problem with me and I had sure a choice. Person, by the way, I'm not sure. Who's, <laughs> I'm not sure bad, who's Dante per- person. Is. So if I knew shorter person had a problem with me, I would choose to talk it out instead of ignore for you know a week or two to let things settle. But we're not talking about friends. We're talking. Is this about only in the relationship? Yeah. Okay. Either way, actually. So okay. Okay. If, okay. if if my girl had a problem with me, I feel like I would much rather just have the conversation, you know, talk it out. Even if it takes a while, you know, no matter what. I feel like I'm just yeah, always on a team of, like, just talk it out. This, this, this is where... Like fizzle out sometimes. Yeah, this, so. this is where, if you're in a heightened exactly. emotional state, there's... You can do more harm with, we're, you are not leaving this room until we figure this out. Or, let's take a break, let's go get some food, and not think about it, and come back to it. So... I think that's for, true. So, for me... For me, it takes a lot to get me upset, like a lot. But when I get upset, I'm upset. And all I see is red. And flipping. you need to leave me alone. Mm. Like, for real. My yeah. fiancé does not work that way. He's like you. He wants to be in my face, and he wants to fix it and resolve it. But I am not in a place where I want to be talking to you right now because yucky stuff's going to come out. And I don't fight ugly ever. I don't like to. I think I think it ruins relationships. Mm-hmm. But um, I need you need to go away and leave me alone. Like, and I don't know how long, but I'll come find you when I'm ready, because otherwise, it's not going to be a good situation. Um, and I'll say things I don't really mean, and you'll say things that you don't really mean, and it just, it escalates it. Oh, that's me personally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But again, yeah, it takes sure. me, it takes a lot to get me, like, mad and upset. Yeah. So. I was just sitting there trying to rack my brain, trying to figure out the last time we actually had a, a disagreement or argument or anything like that, and I, and I can't even remember. Yeah. But is she ignoring you weird. through them? <laughs> is she ignoring me through whenever we have? Like, like when she you're thinks she's or frustrated <laughs> and she's just ignoring you and letting you do your I, thing and that's why, and then you come back I, because you... I would say yes, but then I I honestly, I wouldn't know because it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't happen. And uh, and I always and whenever I get to talking about my relationship and I say things like that, people ah, you're bullshit. No, yeah, you're full of I shit always. and things like that. And, and I just, I, it... It, it is what it is. I think uh, we we typically don't have any any um, major disagreements um, with each other. We have disagreements with the with the kids because they get on damn nerves. <laughs> <laughs> so so a lot of times a lot of times that is uh, that can be a sense of our frustration mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, because you know boys and they just. Do it's girls shit. too. It's girls like, too. Like not clean up their room when we ask them a hundred times and you know things like that. But anyway, anyway, but uh, I would I would say 
I say think no, that wouldn't work for you. I it's, is ignoring each other. Well, no, her ignoring you would that make you resolve whatever issue you were having in the moment to go I, and talk I to think, her? I think if she was ignoring me, I think we've been together long enough that I would understand that, okay, she needs some time. She needs her space. Perhaps I'll go to Maude and get her her favorite pizza and bring it back. Or go to uh, so it Kung would Fu tea it would work. And get bubble tea. It would, so it would work. Yeah. What you're that, saying, you that, said it would work. Is that, yes. is that the question? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. That yes. It, would it would work. So I have a friend. Yeah. Whose husband was somewhat of a player, but also was chased by women okay. for most of his everything. Yeah. So. So was that she, by the way? She acknowledged. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <I wonder. laughs> she 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 recognized it very early on. She adores her husband, like adores him, would do anything for him. But she holds back some of her feelings sometimes because she knows if she oogles and googles all over him and gushes how much she uh, loves him and yeah. stuff, that's not what he that's not how he's built to accept. He's been he's used to women chasing him. So if you hold back a little or ignore, uh-huh. <laughs> then he he adjusts himself very quickly, but she but she can't really gush and like tell him how much she adores him because that's not what he's interested in. Right. So gotcha. gotcha. So that's another that's sort of aspect of it. Yeah, that's that, yeah. That was very interesting. Yeah. So yeah. Well, you know, bring it right back to the dog whisperer. <laughs> it's it's a matter of who's establishing to be the alpha. If you're oogling, googling, and oh, I love you so much, I love you so much, that person's the alpha. If you're, if you make the other person chase you, you're the alpha. You're the leader of the pack. It's a good way to look at it. Yeah. It's well, I don't know if I believe in relationship alphas. <laughs> Anyone else want to chime in? I'm not even going to touch that. One. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You, see, you see how all the married people shut right the hell up when he said that. I guess. I, thought, I think it's more situational. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not that, it's not. I, I personally don't believe that. I personally believe that there is an alpha, and it may not be an obnoxious, in your face alpha, I'm the boss, but I generally believe a it's, it's a DL. Yes. Alpha, that yes. there's always someone else in the relationship that could somehow persuade the other to do something they wouldn't normally want to do, and it may not work the other way. 100%. So, and main chick is the alpha in our relationship. I am the beta, omega, <laughs> <You're> <laughs> gamma. I don't know what the hell. And you know what else? It can, it can switch sometimes, too. That's what I'm saying. I think it's the, situational. The alpha can switch sometimes, too. It's, it's, it's not, sometimes it's a permanent alpha. Sometimes it is. Sometimes there's someone that just has a strong personality, and that's just how they are. And the other person's completely content with just riding along and just because they love that person. But sometimes the alpha can switch based off of situations. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's a switch thing. I mean, I think <coughs> in some instances, like, I know, like, there are definitely some instances where, you know, my girlfriend looks to me for the decision. Like, it's just like, all right, like, you got to make the choice. Where are we eating, Blake? Stuff, yeah. I mean, yeah, but stuff like that for <laughs> sure. Where the hell are we eating? It's like stuff like that. Like, McDonald's you know, and Burger King. Come on, here we are. It's like you're making the choice, like, guaranteed, right? But then there's other decisions where, you know, guess what? Like, I... I take the back seat for some of these decisions, See? right? But like, I don't know, maybe maybe it's all muddy and there is a true alpha that I can't tell. Well, I'm very persuasive. <laughs> but when there's a point that I'm You can't tell that's what I'm worried about. I'm sitting here I'm sitting here scratching my chin. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> so Who's bossing me around. So in my situation, the alpha definitely switches. Um, I am generally very persuasive, and he's very kind, and he usually lets me get my way. But every once in a while, when I'm hurt or being stubborn or frustrated about something, he's like, you're not doing it. So, go upstairs. Go do this. Go Why are you being stubborn? I'm going to call your dad. <laughs> so um, <laughs> you, might say, you might say when, it, when, it's, when the, it's, it's time to get going, he is really the alpha, even if in day-to-day -day life you might take charge. Because I trust him and I love him and I know that his intention is what's best for me and I'm extremely stubborn. Like, so stubborn I feel sorry for my kids because I know they got the gene. I'm so stubborn and sometimes it's to my detriment. And he's been able to, I have health stuff, we're not going to go into it, but he has been able to recognize those times when I'm struggling and just being stubborn and saying, it's time to stop. You can break through. Yes. Speak yes. to you. Or come give me a hug. 
stop being stubborn and just come hug me because I, I love hugs so that's usually helpful but he he's wise enough and kind enough and loving enough that he's usually kind about it there's only been a few times where he's had to get angry about it and it, I, I deserved it at the time because I was not in a good situation or whatever but um he, he usually does it with kindness but I think I know in my relationship it switches but I, and I know there are relationships where it stays one person and it mm -hmm. just is, and there are other situations where it also switches, depending on the situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. that, that, that's how it goes, my friend. That's how it goes. So yeah, yeah. MC is definitely, I'd say 98% of the time. Run the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it, I trust her implicitly See, in that. that's part so, of it. So we have no issues. Also, I, I'll kick my coverage anyway, so, you know, <laughs> there's that. <laughs> yeah. He's just taking a knee at this point, trying to run like he's Yeah, man. <laughs> Fair catch. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, man, so this was, this was great. It's always a pleasure to get in here and do these podcasts. And mm -hmm. as, we, uh, as we come up on Christmas, I'd like to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Me too. Oh, and thank you person. all. Yeah, well, I mean, what the hell? Keep calling me on my government. <laughs> now, now they're going to come looking for me. <laughs> uh, but I did want to say, because we always forget to mention this. Now, we do have all the information and the show notes. So wherever you're listening to this podcast, go ahead, drop down and listen to the show notes because you can be uh, a part of the show if you, if you call in and leave a message and we'll play it back and, and we can discuss. I like that. We can discuss what you discuss on the uh, on the podcast and also if you if you feel if you feel so inclined you can also support the show right down the show notes <laughs> you can find us you like that yeah I do I like the look <laughs> yeah, yeah money 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 <laughs> you can uh, find us on Instagram at <laughs> Disputed I mean I'll, repl I'll re-say that because somebody's over here coughing at second take disputed I'm not going to spell it for you because I mean I don't feel like it but <laughs> it's all spelled out one word or you can also uh, reach us at uh, second take d at gmail dot com if you want to drop us some emails and now everyone's going to give you some closing words what do you have to say handsome Shrek <sighs> Merry Christmas <laughs> my man yeah, my King love, String Bean myself being Nana I don't have much to say that's that's a change, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a little bit helpful here. Not a little bit of a good addition. Let's see right there. Hey, let, me, hey, let me let me let me go into King Nana. Uh oh, uh oh, he's channeling Nana. Uh, he's channeling. Oh, he... What? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what? You mean to tell me? Uh, we miss I'm you. the alpha. <laughs> you alphas. Wait, when you get married, things change. You don't know. You just don't know. You just don't know it yet. My man. We missed you, the king. Yeah. <laughs> Love you, bud. Can't wait to see you. He's yeah. in. He's in Ghana, Ghana right now. Oh, he's big away. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. He's big away. Ghana's he's big away. Ghana. He'll be. Uh, he'll be back. He'll be back after the holidays. And uh, when Good. we come back from the holidays, we'll have a nice, a nice uh, program. Actually, um, I got something that'll help us with the, with the uh, podcast as well. So, cool. I have, uh, and and I'll be bringing that in after the holidays. Probably, so probably like, nothing to help uh, King Nana with a. Uh, uh, nothing uh, can help. A, a baby with an eight-hour flight. <laughs> oh, Ooh, Ooh, bless yeah. his heart. Any final words, Blockhead? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right. And new girl, Jess? And I will ditto. Merry Christmas. All right. All right. That is that. We are done. Tell everyone good night, Handsome Shark. Good night, Handsome Shark. Good night, everyone.